In a surprising turn of events, studies reveal that a whopping 80% of people struggle with motivation on a daily basis. Now, let's just pause for a moment and let that sink in. Four out of every five people you meet, regardless of where they're from, their age, or their background, struggle with the challenge of motivating themselves daily. That's more than the entire population of Europe. Imagine every single person in France, Germany, Spain, Italy, and the UK, and many more, all waking up and wrestling to find that spark to kickstart their day. This staggering statistic sheds light on a universal human experience, an experience that transcends borders, cultures, and generations. It's not just you or me. It's that cashier at your local grocery store, the bus driver who takes you to work, the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, and even that fitness influencer you follow on Instagram. We all have those days when our beds seem more appealing than our responsibilities, when the weight of our to-do lists makes us want to pull the covers over our heads and disappear, when the thought of facing the world seems more daunting than exciting. And while it's easy to feel isolated in these moments, to feel like you're the only one struggling while everyone else seems to have it all together, remember that you are not alone. This is a shared struggle, a common hurdle that many of us face in our journey towards self-improvement and success. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're finding it hard to muster the energy to get out of bed and face the day, remember, you are part of the vast majority. You are part of the 80%. It's not a club anyone signs up for, but it's one where membership is as common as breathing. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay to struggle. It's okay to have those days when motivation seems like a foreign concept, but what's not okay is to let those days define you. So if you are one of the 80%, stick around. We've got some expert advice coming up. Experts in the field of psychology have shed some light on the matter. Let's take a journey into the minds of these scholars and see what they have to say about motivation. A prominent theory in psychology is the self-determination theory, coined by psychologists Edward Dacey and Richard Ryan. They propose that motivation is a spectrum, ranging from intrinsic or self-motivated behavior to extrinsic, where behavior is driven by external rewards or demands. They argue that understanding where our motivation falls on this spectrum can help us harness it more effectively. Another significant theory is the expectancy theory by Victor Vroom. He suggests that motivation is a product of two things, our expectation of success and the value we place on that success. So if we believe we can achieve something and we value the outcome, our motivation to pursue it increases. Abraham Maslow, another renowned psychologist, introduced the concept of a hierarchy of needs. He posited that we are motivated to fulfill our basic needs first, such as food and shelter, before moving on to higher level needs like love, esteem, and self-actualization. This theory tells us that our motivation can be influenced by our current needs and circumstances. And let's not forget the goal-setting theory by Edwin Locke. He asserts that setting specific and challenging goals can enhance our motivation. The thrill of a challenge and the satisfaction of achieving a goal can drive us forward. But the theories don't stop here. There are numerous studies and perspectives on motivation, each offering a unique insight into this complex aspect of human behavior. From the role of emotions by Nico Frieda to the cognitive evaluation theory, these theories all underscore the importance of understanding the psychological aspect of motivation. However, there's one thing we must remember. Despite the wealth of information these theories provide, motivation is deeply personal. It varies from person to person, shaped by our experiences, personalities, and circumstances. As we delve into the psychological aspects, it's important to remember that motivation is a personal journey and can be different for everyone. Science has a lot to say about motivation. Let's delve into it. The fascinating world of neuroscience reveals a lot about how motivation works. Our brain, a complex and intricate organ, plays a key role in the process of motivation. Let's start with the basics. There are certain areas of our brain that are primarily involved in producing and regulating motivation. One of these is the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for decision-making and goal-setting. When you set a goal, your prefrontal cortex gets to work, planning out the steps to get there. Then we have the dopaminergic system, a network of neurons that release dopamine, often known as the feel-good hormone. This system is intimately involved in motivation. When we anticipate a reward, our brain releases dopamine, 
creating a sense of pleasure and driving us to act. But here's the catch. Our brain doesn't just respond to the promise of rewards. It also reacts to challenges, stress, and even fear. These reactions can either power our motivation or drain it, depending on how we interpret and manage them. Now, let's talk about how we can train our brain to improve motivation. Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections, is key. This means that we can literally reshape our brain to become more motivated. So how do we do this? One effective way is through mindfulness and meditation. These practices can help us manage stress and maintain focus, thereby enhancing our motivation. Regular physical activity is another powerful tool. Exercise has been shown to increase dopamine levels, boosting our mood and motivation. The good news is, the more we practice these activities, the stronger these neural connections become, making it easier to stay motivated over time. It's like building a muscle. The more you work it out, the stronger it gets. Science shows us that our brains are remarkably adaptable, and we can leverage this to our advantage to boost motivation. Now, with all this knowledge, how can we put it into practice? Let's delve into some practical strategies to bolster your motivation, strategies that are backed by the theories and studies we've discussed earlier. Firstly, let's talk about goal setting. It's not enough to just have a vague idea of what you want to achieve. You need to set specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound goals. What we call SMART goals. For instance, instead of saying, I want to be healthier, a SMART goal would be, I want to go for a 30-minute jog every morning before breakfast for the next three months. Having clear-cut goals gives you a target to aim for and a sense of direction. Next, let's consider positive reinforcement. This is the act of giving yourself a reward when you achieve a goal or make progress towards it. This could be anything from treating yourself to your favorite dessert, spending an hour on a hobby you enjoy, or simply taking a moment to bask in the satisfaction of a job well done. The key here is to celebrate your victories, no matter how small they may seem. This not only boosts your mood, but also trains your brain to associate effort with a positive outcome, thereby increasing your motivation to keep going. Thirdly, visualization is a powerful tool for maintaining motivation. Envision yourself achieving your goals, feel the elation, the pride, the relief. This mental image serves as a beacon of hope, guiding you through tough times. Visualization isn't just about daydreaming about success though. It's also about foreseeing potential obstacles and mentally rehearsing how you'll overcome them. This prepares you for difficulties ahead and helps prevent them from derailing your progress. Lastly, don't forget the importance of self-care. It's easy to get so wrapped up in chasing our goals that we neglect our own well-being. But remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Ensuring that you're physically, emotionally, and mentally healthy is crucial for maintaining motivation. This includes getting enough sleep, eating a balanced diet, staying active, maintaining a positive mindset, and taking time to relax and recharge. In the end, what's most important is that you find a strategy that works for you. Everyone is different, so what works for one person may not necessarily work for another. Experiment with different strategies, mix and match them, tweak them to your liking. Be patient with yourself and remember that progress, no matter how slow, is still progress. Remember, these strategies are not one size fits all, it's about finding what works best for you. Experts suggest a few key steps to help get the ball rolling. One of the most recommended strategies is setting clear, achievable goals. Now this doesn't mean you should aim low. Rather, it means breaking down your larger goals into smaller, manageable tasks. This way, you're not overwhelmed by the enormity of your aspirations and instead can take one step at a time, gradually building momentum. Another piece of advice from the experts is to make your tasks enjoyable. This can mean different things for different people. Maybe you can listen to your favorite podcast while doing laundry. Or perhaps you can take a scenic route when running errands. By pairing something you love with something you have to do, you can make the task seem less daunting. And then there's the power of visualization. Experts often recommend imagining the benefits of achieving your goals. This can serve as a powerful motivator, providing you with a clear picture of what you're working towards. Whether it's picturing yourself in a dream job or imagining the sense of accomplishment after completing a marathon, visualization can be a potent tool in your motivation arsenal. 
Of course, it's also important to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate sleep are all crucial for maintaining high energy levels and a positive mindset. While it may be tempting to pull all-nighters or skip meals, remember that your physical health directly impacts your mental health, and hence your motivation levels. Lastly, experts suggest seeking support when needed. Whether it's a friend, family member, or a professional counselor, having someone to share your struggles with can make a world of difference. Remember, it's perfectly okay to ask for help. Everyone needs a little boost now and then. These expert tips provide a great starting point for anyone looking to improve their motivation. Whether you're a student struggling with exam stress, a professional stuck in a rut, or someone just trying to get through a tough day, these strategies can help you stay on track and keep moving forward. Remember, motivation is not a destination, but a journey. And sometimes all it takes is one small step to get started. These expert tips provide a great starting point for anyone looking to improve their motivation. Motivation is a journey, not a destination. These words ring true for each and every one of us. As we delve into the world of self-motivation, it's crucial to remember that this isn't a race. There's no finish line where you suddenly find yourself perpetually motivated. It's a continuous process, a journey that unfolds each day. Now, it's time to take everything we've discussed in this video and put it into practice. You've been equipped with expert opinions, the science of motivation, and practical strategies. The next step? Implementation. Start small. Choose one or two strategies that resonate with you and give them a try. Perhaps it's setting achievable goals, or maybe it's finding your why. Whatever it is, take that first step. You might stumble, you might falter, but remember, Every step forward, no matter how small, is still progress. Patience and consistency are your guiding stars on this journey. Change doesn't happen overnight. It's a slow, steady process that requires patience. Be patient with yourself. Recognize that some days will be harder than others. That's okay, it's part of the process. Consistency, on the other hand, is what ensures we stay on the path. It's the practice of showing up day after day, even when you don't feel like it. This is where the strategies we've discussed come into play. They are tools to help you maintain consistency, even on the toughest days. You might be thinking, this sounds hard, can I really do this? Let me assure you, you can. You have the strength, the resilience, and the courage to embark on this journey. You are capable of more than you know. As we wrap up this portion of our discussion, remember this. It's not about perfection, it's about progress. Don't beat yourself up if you slip up or have a rough day. Instead, celebrate your progress, no matter how small. You're not aiming for perfection. You're aiming for growth, for betterment, for progress. And guess what? You've got this. So there you have it, a comprehensive look at motivation and how to harness it. We've traveled together through a landscape of facts, expert opinions, the science behind motivation, and practical strategies you can use when you're feeling like you'd rather climb back into bed than face the day. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. We started by exploring some truly shocking numbers, didn't we? The sheer number of folks who struggle with motivation on a daily basis is staggering. It's a universal challenge, proving that you're not alone in your feelings of lethargy or lack of drive. We dove into the insights from experts in the field, learning that motivation is not a simple one-size-fits-all concept. It's a complex interplay of mental, emotional, and physical factors that can fluctuate from day to day, even from moment to moment. Then we delved into the fascinating realm of the science of motivation. We discovered how our brain chemistry plays a crucial role in our motivation levels, and how understanding this can help us harness our natural drive. We didn't stop at theories, though. We rolled up our sleeves and got down to the nitty-gritty of practical strategies for boosting motivation. From setting realistic goals to breaking tasks down into manageable chunks, from visualizing success to rewarding ourselves for small victories, we learned that there are many tools at our disposal to help us charge ahead. We also took to heart the sage advice from experts who've been there, done that, and got the t-shirt. Their wisdom reminded us that motivation is not about being perfect, but about making progress, however small. And finally, we ended with a hearty dose of encouragement because we all need a little pep talk now and then, don't we? We hope this video has been helpful and wish you all the best on your motivation journey.
Until next time, keep striving for progress, not perfection.